This is a xylophone. A xylophone has been out for many, many, many centuries. This is what a xylophone looks like. It is wood. There are several different types of mallets that you can use for this. You have the soft ones that sound like this. And you have the hard ones that sound like this. It just depends on what kind of music you're trying to play, where you're at. Like if you're on a marching band on the field, you would use the harder mallets. This is a glockenspiel. The glockenspiel has metal bars. I'll go into that in a second. But it makes a different sound than those other ones. And I'll play a note. The xylophone has a series of wooden bars that are tuned to the sound the note should make or, you know, to the relevant note. So if you hit a B flat, it's a B flat, just like on a piano. Um, a glockenspiel, which is what right here, the glockenspiel of bells, as they are also called, um, like the xylophone, are tuned to re relevant notes, but they are made of metal bars. Um, xylo is Greek. Um, and it means wood and Glocken is German so I'm assuming it's named after the region that it's from. Uh, xylophones and the bells or Glockenspiel um, are almost played with hard mallets unless you're looking for a specific softer sound on your xylophone. So like I said before if you want it to sound louder you would hit it with this to get that nice hard tone but if you wanted to um, get a softer tone you would hit it with the softer mallet there's a difference um, I did have somebody say to me one time that uh, they couldn't tell the difference in the notes of the wooden xylophone they said that it um, all of the notes sounded the same and I pretty much told the person that they were tone deaf because if you listen and you go up the scale, it doesn't sound like the same notes. There's no way it sounds like the same notes. So that was my little percussion lesson for today. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching.